Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number six. Hey, here's the file we're using if you want to download it at the YouTube channel, user slash Excel is fun. You scroll on down and there's my college website link. And all the way down at the bottom, control end is the business math series. If you're in the class, just simply go to our website and download this workbook. Hey, we got to talk about cell references. We've been talking about formulas and functions and cell references, but we need to learn about two types of cell references. Now, let's just take a little look here and we're going to do some formulas. This is a payroll example. We'll see this a few times in this class how uh, many types of payroll calculations there are, but here's a simple one. We simply have, ew, gross pay for each one of these people. There they are, and there's our tax rate. So we have to figure out the deduction. Well, it's pretty straightforward. Equals, and then click on this cell, one cell to my left. See how the, the formula is here, and Joe's gross pay is directly to the left, times B16. So see that formula? And then enter equals uh, Chin's gross pay. Notice the, the relative position of this cell reference as compared to the formula is one cell to the left. So one cell to the left times, and I'm going to click on B16 again. Enter equals one cell to the left. Again, from the perspective of the formula, where is this blue cell reference? Exactly to the left times B16. Are you getting tired of clicking on B16? You see how every time this formula is always looking uh, at right to the left, but every time it's always looking at B16. Equals one cell to the left times B16. Equals one cell to the left times B16. Whoops. Equals one cell to the left times B16. So we noticed a pattern there. A pattern of, uh, of formula creation was we're always clicking uh, relatively one cell to the left, but then we're always multiplying it by whatever's in B16. I'm going to highlight this whole uh, column here and hit delete. Delete. Now I'm going to say equals one cell to my left. Now why do I keep calling that one cell to the left? Well, let me show you. This formula is not equals B9. Let me prove it to you. Control Enter. And then I want to copy this down, but I want to copy it down in a certain way. There's um, the highlighted cell with a formula, and you can see up in the formula bar there's a formula. But right there in the, the uh, corner is a little black box. This white cursor right here is a thick white selection cursor, so you can select, right? But what happens when you select this cell and hover it over that little box, which is called a fill handle? Whoa, you see that little crosshair. It looks like a crosshair. I like to call it angry rabbit. If you click and drag, you're copying the formula. If you then click in the cell at the bottom and hit F2, which is edit mode, you can see it's really not B9, because it started as B9 here. It has moved to B13. That's called a relative cell reference. And that's beautiful, because sometimes you want to just fill um, and have the, the cell reference move like that. Because in every one of these cells, that's what we need. We need the cell directly to our left. Now I'm going to control Z, Z. That's undo. There's an undo right here. And in earlier versions, it's on the toolbar. And now I'm going to create my formula. Equals one cell to my left times. And now when I click on B16, um, if I copy this formula down here, that little B16 is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 below. So watch this. Control Enter, and then copy it down one. Well, that's great. Chin's happy. That little uh, dash is accounting format, and it means zero. But watch this when I hit F2. <gasps> the green one moved. So relative cell references are the default in Excel, and they always are relative to where I where the formula is. Where do you want me to look? B17 is not B17. It's one to my left and one, two, three, four, five, six, six down. So I'm going to highlight these and delete. If only there was a way to lock the cell reference. Well, there is. Equals one cell to my left times. And when you click on B16, if you hit the F4 key, it will put the secret code in to lock B16. So let's try it. Hit the F4 key. The way the F4 key works is if your cursor is somewhere touching the cell reference when you hit F4, 
it puts the secret code in. Those are dollar signs. They really are arbitrary symbols. That mean the column is locked and the row is locked. From now on, when you copy this formula, that B, B16 is not a relatively a relative cell reference. It's an absolute. Whereas this blue one is relative. So let's try it. Control Enter and uh, click and drag it down. Now click in the last cell and hit F2. There it is. We're slowly starting to see the beauty of Excel. And if you know how to do this kind of stuff, you are 10, 20, 30, 40 times faster than the someone sitting in the cubicle over there who doesn't know Excel. Because to do all these calculations by hand takes a lot of typing into a calculator. So that's our first experience with absolute cell references and relative cell references. You want, you got to practice this because it will um, show up on the test, obviously, but it will just make your life uh, much happier. Hey, let's do another little example up here. Let's do a relative cell reference. How about um, equals uh, one cell to my left and this many down, Joe. So when I control enter, that puts the thing, the formula in the cell and keeps the cell highlighted. Now when I click and drag, we can see that it didn't stick or lock or is absolute on Joe. It moved, so when I copied it down, now it's looking at Isaac. Let's try a different version. Let's try equals and then click on Joe. But now let's hit our F4 key. That formula has been transformed. It is no longer a relative cell reference. It's absolute. So when you copy it, copy the formula, and it's sticking on the cell A9. I'm going to hit, um, whoops, control Z. I'm going to hit F, F2. Put it in, oh, and there it is, the dollar sign A, dollar sign 9. Um, so that is just our first introduction to um, absolute and relative cell references. When we come back, we'll have our final video for the introduction to Excel, and it will be a, a similar setup to this. All right, see you next video.